आई एम श्योर आप लोगों ने हिस्ट्री में पढ़ा होगा कि इंडिया में पहले गुरुकुल हुआ करते थे जहाँ पे बच्चे रहते भी थे और पढ़ते भी थे बट ऑब्वियसली वक्त के साथ साथ फॉर्मल एजुकेशन आ गया और टीचर्स बच्चों को स्कूल में बुक्स की मदद से पढ़ाने लगे और अब हम रह रहे हैं कंप्यूटर्स के दौर में जहाँ टीचर्स हमें कंप्यूटर्स की मदद से पढ़ाते हैं ऑफलाइन है ना ऑब्वियसली ऑनलाइन पर सोचिए अगर फ्यूचर में इन कंप्यूटर्स ने टीचर्स को रिप्लेस कर दिया तो क्या होगा अब आप सोच रहे होंगे कि अब कंप्यूटर्स हमें कैसे पढ़ाएंगे ना हम उनसे इंटरेक्ट कर सकते हैं और ना ही वो हमारे कॉम्प्लेक्स क्वेश्चन समझ सकते हैं बट जस्ट थिंक इफ कंप्यूटर्स वर इंटेलिजेंट येस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस जस्ट थिंक इफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंट रिप्लेस्ड द टीचर्स employees and the workers scary thought right let's see hello main hu akshat aur aap dekh rahe hain no kidding यहाँ टॉपिक्स बच्चों से रिलेटेड होते हैं पर बातें सीरियस होती है एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड इन ऑर्डर टू टेल अस इन डिटेल अबाउट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वी हैव डेटा साइंटिस्ट शुभ वचेर हाय अक्षत थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी एंड कैन यू जस्ट प्लीज टेल अबाउट योर टू दूअर्स श्योर माई नेम इज शुभ वछेर आई एम अ डेटा साइंटिस्ट विद नियरली अ डेकेड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन दिस इंडस्ट्री um i have studied from bits pilani and then chinghua university um i really love using technology to make innovative solutions to real world problems and for that i have started using artificial intelligence machine learning data analytics um and and with these tools i i've gained lots of knowledge and experience and i'm happy to share that with your viewers here so we'll start with uh, the most basic question that okay. is what is artificial intelligence I think your question is we already have computers hmm. so what's this new thing called artificial intelligence right, right right so the work that we do with computers nowadays nakshat hmm. uska scope bahut badha sakte hain hum okay. by adding this tool called artificial intelligence to it it's like taking a computer hmm. and trying to make it work like a human being would work okay so what do i mean by work like a human i mean let that computer learn and then make decisions based on that learning okay just like how we humans right do. right so using this tool um we are able to unlock areas of automating jobs hmm. or areas of technology that we couldn't do with computers before right where now we can take jobs that human beings do hmm. and we can automate some parts of those that are maybe less creative parts with ai hmm. एक एग्जांपल के साथ एक्सप्लेन करते हैं लेट्स से दैट यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ डिफरेंट पिक्चर्स ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड यू वांट टू ट्राई टू मेक अ कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम दैट टेल्स यू कि दिस पिक्चर इज अ व्हिच एनिमल सो लेट्स ट्राई टू ब्रेक दिस डाउन जनरली अगर कंप्यूटर्स हो तो हमें क्या करना पड़ता है ना इफ वी गिव द कंप्यूटर अ पिक्चर ऑफ एन एलिफेंट फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव टू टेल द कंप्यूटर कि ये पिक्चर देख रहे हो इस पिक्चर में हाथी तभी है जब पिक्चर में आपको ऐसी एक लंबी सूंड दिखे ठीक है सो दिस इज काइंड ऑफ फ्लिप्ट ऑन इट्स हेड विद ए आई ए आई में क्या होता है लाइक वी ट्रेन मे बी अ स्मॉल चाइल्ड वेन वी आर ट्राइंग टू टीच दम अबाउट इमेजेस ऑफ एनिमल्स राइट वी जस्ट शो द ए आई लॉट्स ऑफ डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स वी से लुक एट ऑल दीज एग्जाम्पल्स दिस इज अ कैट दिस इज अ डॉग दिस इज एन एलिफेंट दिस इज अ डियर एंड देन द ए आई यूजिंग इंटरनल मैकेनिज्म ऑफ ग्रेडियंट डिसेंट एंड बैक प्रोपोगेशन लर्न वॉट दीज पिक्चर्स special qualities are this is what makes an ai so powerful now is because it can learn hmm. and with the experience that it has learned with hmm. it can make decisions like a human being can so now with all of this data that we have shown the ai about cats and dogs right. and elephants right. we can give it a new picture that it has never seen before hmm. and the ai will kind of automatically with an artificial sort of intelligence be able to pick out the right parts of the image to classify that image as whichever animal it is a computer program is static it can't learn and grow with right, experience right, right. but this ai program that works like a human 
it can kind of see more data and learn from that more data, becoming more accurate and more reliable as it gains more experience. Right. So, abhi currently, kaun kaun se areas se jahan pe AI use ho Actually, AI ne apne pair bahut saare areas mein abhi bhi bahut deeply gadha liye hain. Hmm. Um, in fact, we use AIs to help doctors diagnose diseases, for example. Hmm. Ya fir, agar apne self-driving cars ke baare mein suna hoga, right, right, to we right. use AIs to help drive a car hmm. without a human driver in the loop. Hmm. Ya fir, agar aap phone, apne phone pe Siri ya Alexa use karte honge, so we use AIs to help convert hmm. just voice commands into information right. and then the phone can send you back what your question was True. without you ever having to type it out manually. True. All of these things are what AI is used in. Nowadays, AI is very famous ho gaya hai. Chat GPT. Karke. There's a particular AI that's in the news everywhere hmm. called Chat GPT. It's just like a chat bot hmm. where instead of searching on Google, clicking the first four links and figuring out what the answer is, you just ask ChatGPT and ChatGPT takes all this information and summarizes it into a, like a concise answer for you. Right. So these are all the different things that AI can do for us even today. In fact, AI mein abhi recently bahut saari jo development ho rhi hai na, wo research side pe ho rhi hai, jahan scientists like myself kind of sort of play around with it. In the next few years, we are going to see all of these new innovative and exciting things come to real life. Right. So, um, in the coming 10 years, where do you see the world going with respect to technology and computers? Um, so, that's an interesting question and predicting something like this is, you know, always going to go wrong because really? 10 years ago, you probably couldn't imagine a smartphone in every child's hand, mm -hmm. right? Okay. But today we do have that. Sure. Let's kind of try to see where this question goes. I would say, we would have a lot more AI in our lives 10 years down the line. You know, today we have self-driving cars from Tesla, for example. But 10 years down the line, one of the areas that I kind of am excited about is this thing called brain-computer interfaces. So rather than even using Siri or Alexa to kind of talk to, you could think of a question that you have. Okay. Using an AI, huh. It could interpret the waves that your brain makes and then use that data to kind of figure out your question and also answer it. Okay. So this is called a brain-computer interface. Hmm. In fact, currently BCIs or brain-computer interfaces have already been used to make um, primates like monkeys play games hmm. like um, tic-tac-toe. Hmm. So that's one thing that I'm excited about. Uh, other general technology areas are augmented reality or yeah, virtual reality. So augmented reality is kind of the concept where you can interact with objects that are not really there. Achha, okay. For example, in your home, before you buy something from uh, the internet, let's say Amazon, you can check out how a piece of furniture would look and then you can buy it. Okay. Um, in virtual reality, which is VR, uh -huh. you could attend a sporting event mm -hmm. like, um, you know, FIFA World Cup right. yeah, for Cricket World Cup. And you can attend that from the comfort of your home by completely being immersed in a virtual reality. In fact, aise bhi kehte log ki hamari bahut saari zindagi iske baad, jaise going to work, it'll just be in VR or virtual reality. Another area maybe would be transportation. Today we have things like self-driving cars, hmm. but in the future I probably expect um, things like the hyperloop to come into play where what we have that? underground cars. Underground cars? Yeah, so that we don't have to just move in 2D roads, just samne, piche, left, right. But we could also move in 3D under the earth. Achha, okay. That could be interesting. So these are all the things we spoke about, which are quite positive, right? Mm. But while developing these technologies, mm -hmm. we also have to be, I would say, responsible. Mm -hmm. um, in the world of fast technological development, sometimes things like the security or privacy of citizens gets into concern. Um, that is something that we need to be ethical about. Um, also, maybe another thing that I find personally quite interesting is we need to have AI for everyone, not just for maybe a scientist like me working in a, you know, a company mm. or one of these big tech firms, but for students or teachers to use in their classroom right. or for people, uh, creative people 
to use in their field of work. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, these are some of the things that we need to maybe take a little more seriously. Do you see AI, artificial intelligence, replacing human beings? Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, so, I would say that human beings are very good at creative tasks, mm -hmm. at tasks that require human empathy to solve. And AI, like we just discussed, is very good at recognizing pictures or it's very good at maybe translating your voice from one language to the other. Right. You know, it's very good at self-driving cars. But let's say you have a human being caring for an elderly person where it requires human empathy and social interaction and connection. Things like that, I think, are still the stronghold of human beings. It is truly a, an area of concern that we need to talk about where AI will maybe automate some tasks, mm. something like robots automating the tasks of manual laborers. Mm -hmm. But with this automation of manual tasks, what happens is you free up your time for more creative pursuits right. or even for leisure activity. right? Mm. So along with maybe these challenges that you face, there are also positives. Mm. And I think overall the future looks quite exciting. In the end, to be frank, I think it all depends on how we as human beings um, maybe think about mm -hmm. ethically and regulate technologies um, not too much so that the scientists like me have creative freedom to develop technologies at a fast pace but just enough mm -hmm. to not allow maybe these technologies to leave behind people or these technologies to take away something without giving back multifold right so uh, can you tell us that how can children understand AI and do you refer any sort of books or any sources you know uh, yeah sure so it's a big push within the community that we kind of get everyone involved in AI including children okay uh, one of the best resources that I could maybe suggest to children even in schools or even teachers and so on is the things that I spoke about today like chat GPT would you like me to tell you a secret? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All of these questions that you asked me today, na, the first pass answer, matlab, jo pehla jawab maine in questions ka likha tha, wo maine nahi likha tha, wo chat GPT AI bot ne mere liye likh ke banaya tha. And then once the major part of the writing and the major part of the English grammar was done, I involved myself in the process and made it my style. So you can use this, you know, in your daily life. Mm -hmm. Things like DALI 2 or, you know, programs like that, where you can give DALI 2 just an example of a picture you would like it to draw. What is DALI 2? So DALI 2 is a program that was developed by this company called OpenAI. Okay. And the idea of DALI 2 was you describe a scene, any sort of picture. Mm -hmm. Let's say you describe, I want a digital art image of a schoolboy dunking a basketball and a supernova blasting in the background. Okay. DALI 2 will take that description and make you an image that looks like that. Okay. Imagine using that tool in maybe PPT presentations in class. Right? Yeah, right. So DALI 2 is something that I would highly recommend people look into. Um, especially when you look into these things, hmm. you want to try to learn about how this came about, right? Hmm. For that, I think another really great tool is um, AI Experiments by okay. Google. Okay. So AI Experiments is a website that mm. Google developed mm. where it keeps all of these little, you know, funky AI experimental ideas that researchers are working on for the public to use. Right. An example that maybe everyone knows is Pictionary, uh -huh. where one person draws a picture right. and like five other people have to guess. Right, right, right. So you can play Pictionary with an AI online. And I think it's called Quick Draw. Okay. Um, there's another very interesting AI experiment by Google where you can make your own AI. Remember the example that I gave in the beginning where we take an AI and we try to teach it about mm -hmm. animals. Right, right, right. We are trying to give it examples of cat, dog, yeah, fish, right. human, blah, blah, blah. You can do this today online using the tool that AI experiments by Google has created for you. So in that tool, you can also do interesting things like add a video of yourself maybe pointing in this direction hmm. and add another video of yourself pointing in that direction and just using this point you can say that if I was pointing left 
make my character driving a car in my computer turn left okay and if i was pointing right make my character in the car turn right so without having to touch the keyboard i would just sit back and play the video game like this and kids can do this today online using ai experiments by google so this is another resource that i highly recommend you check out now let's say you've tried out all of these tools but you're going back to class and you're wondering ki yaar main school mein kya pad raha hu and how will this help me in my ai journey right right so there are a few subjects that i would suggest that students can focus on if they're very interested in artificial intelligence a few of the subjects that i think are important are um subjects that you learn in school like probability and statistics mm-hmm. like matrix algebra uh-huh, right. multiplying matrices uh-huh. things like that um <laughs> mathematics in general integration and differentiation things okay. that you learn in class 11 and 12 okay and also maybe computer programming i think some students have the option to pick that if you do have the option why not start early so pick computer programming if you're interested to develop ai yeah other than this maybe once you reach standard 11 and 12 class 11 and 12 um this is a course by um andrew ung called introduction to machine learning it's a great course that takes you not only through material and this is all online but it also kind of um, gives you programming questions where instead of just listening to andrew talk about how these things are created mm. you can actually sit down and program them yourself Mm. and figure out these tweaks and little things that you wouldn't otherwise get if you were just sitting in a classroom learning right well this was a lovely discussion and you have not only made me but also the viewers very curious about ai so thank you for giving your time and it was a lovely discussion thank you thank you for having me thank you to ye to humne dekh liya ki artificial intelligence se duniya mein kya kya ho sakta hai par yaar artificial intelligence ke bharose mat baitho thoda apna bhi intelligence badhao जाओ माइंड वर्ड्स पर खेलो क्विजेस अलग अलग तब आके बढ़ेगा इंटेलिजेंस सो नो किडिंग गुड बाय फ्रॉम अक्षत सिंह जल्दी से प्ले स्टोर पर जाकर माइंड वर्ड्स का नया ऐप डाउनलोड कीजिए खेलिए बहुत सारे क्विजेस व्हिच ब्रिज द गैप बिटवीन स्टडीज एंड योर बडीज और पाओ गेम्स खेलते-खेलते स्टडी करने का मजा सो व्हाट आर यू वेटिंग फॉर डाउनलोड द ऐप नाउ